Hi everyone. So I have the honor of reintroducing to you Dr. Arush Dhamija. So Arush, congratulations. Rank one INICT. Super proud of you and so kind of you to take out time to be in the damn studio on Diwali. A very happy Diwali to you and your family. Happy Diwali, sir. And मुझे ऐसा लगता है कि family की Diwali तो आपने ले आए. Yes, sir. So Arush. थोड़ा सा मुझे बताओ कि जैसे अभी हम अगर इफ वी स्टार्ट टॉकिंग अबाउट सम वन बिकॉज वी हैव यू नो हैड अ इनफॉर्मल डिस्कशन विद यू येस्टरडे आल्सो सो इफ सम वन इज स्टार्टिंग नाउ इन सेकंड ईयर और थर्ड ईयर व्हाई वुड ही बिकम अ हाउ वुड ही बिकम द नेक्स्ट अरुष तमीजा हाउ हाउ कैन समबडी गेट अ रैंक वन इफ ही स्टार्टिंग फ्रॉम रॉ एंड ही स्टार्टिंग टू बिल्ड अ करियर फ्रॉम दिस मोमेंट लाइक ऑनेस्टली वन शुड नॉट लुक अप टू एनी रैंक और एनीथिंग Uh, right from the beginning uh, the thing that you have to focus on is uh, the problem is i always had at the back of the mind that i have an exam uh, at the end of my internship um, that is maybe what got me here or that is maybe what troubled me the most but yeah uh, if you can uh, keep that at the back of your mind and uh, stay stable at the same moment uh, not become anxious but instead take motivation out of that then that would be something that uh, everyone has to look forward to and uh, yeah if um, because that is the only thing that keeps you going from day to day uh, no matter uh, how hard your uh, life becomes or how hard your duties become or whatever is going on but if that thing stays at the back of your mind every time uh, then that keeps you going so if i now you know put it in one word and one line that the first step towards becoming a future arush tamija or future rank 1 would be detached from the outcome actually it would be not to think about rank 1 too much Yeah. Think about that. I have to give an exam and th- focus on the process rather than thinking about becoming a rank one. In an ideal world, yeah, that would be <laughs> what would be uh, awesome. But yeah, it is easier said than done. Uh, even I could not do it. No one can actually do it, and that thing troubles you uh, from day to day. Uh, and it's okay, uh, but you need to talk it out to someone that you like talking to, whether it is your parents or anyone, uh, and just keep going. And Arush. how important was you know you started with dams early how important was starting early and how important was to you know have those uh, crisp concise material with you and rather than you know running after too much of material um uh, i would say that the most important thing that uh, impacted me was starting early um it is very important to uh, just get your momentum going from um, the time that you are actually being taught those subjects in your micro labs or in your uh, dissection halls uh, obviously uh, we cannot always think about uh, studying just for the exam but yeah if you have that as i said that if you have that thing at the back of your mind then whenever you even study for your profs or anything then uh, you tend to focus more on uh, points uh, uh, in your textbooks also which uh, you think might be asked and then when you adopt to uh, things like quizzing and all then uh, those things nurture you further and um, you keep going better acha arush main janna chahta hu ki is it like कि पीपल हु आर डूइंग वेल इन कॉम्पिटेटिव एग्जाम आर ऑल्सो डूइंग वेल इन क्विजेस ऐसा हुआ क्या मतलब यू आर ऑल्सो विनिंग इन द क्विजेस एंड यू आर ऑलवेज पार्टिसिपेटिंग इन दोज वर यू कॉन्शियसली ट्राइंग टू कम्पीट या द थिंग इज दैट क्विजेज आई वॉज एंट एक्चुअली ऑलवेज विनिंग बट द थिंग इज इट इज इम्पोर्टेंट टू पार्टिसिपेट या यू लर्न की दैट डिसअपॉइंटमेंट यू गेट दैट वेन यू डोंट मेक इट टू द पोडियम इन अ क्विज और एनी थिंग then that is the thing that makes you feel ki yeah i need to uh, get better i need to think better i need to modify my thought process and i need to uh, it tells you what you need to do uh, it will automatically tell you uh, how you need to uh, improve yourself for the next time and um, it is very important to participate right from the beginning um, because yeah it obviously gives you the feel of the competition and um, gives you an idea about how to solve questions whether it is mcqs or not what features of dams do you think were useful to you or do you think were the game changers i started my journey with dams only so uh, i had faith uh, in the institute so yeah i believed uh, the best part that i found was uh, the a uh, crisp and concise notes that i had uh, the thing is that um, the teachers do not burden you with uh, excessive amount of uh, knowledge that you get um you cannot actually digest that in the first go uh, your first primary baseline should be set with uh, something which is um uh, crisp and uh, the something that you can actually digest uh, thereafter you can uh, go about modifying uh, your notes or uh, adding points uh, to your um, uh, notes and all uh, which is very important actually i would say you cannot stagnate 
at one point because even that uh, gets you uh, pla to plateau uh, your ranks and GDs and all. Uh, you obviously need to uh, keep on improving every day. But yeah, if you have a baseline set and a strong foundation st uh, set, then that uh, helps you. And Arush, you know, everybody knows that you are an academic student, you are a rank one. Is there a non-academic side to you that you want to tell to people or any kind of hobby that you pursue or anything that is something that people may not know or may not even imagine about you? Nah, not really. <laughs> <laughs> now I'm uh, putting him uh, onto some tough questions now. <laughs> anything that you do, like how do you de-stress yourself? Honestly, it is just like um, workout or exercise, uh, Netflix and social media. Yeah, I. <laughs> uh, do you do you do you also binge watch on web series? Uh, have you ever done yeah, it? Or? Definitely, definitely. I will love so everybody, please note this down that even rank one is watching Netflix and still is able to do it. So don't become too guilty about you. I think that entire idea about guilt shaming yourself that you know I saw one web series now I'm not going to get into it. It's like everybody has those days but maybe you have to make them less you can't have a full year full of binge watching but it is like the balance is important any thoughts on this yeah exactly um for me it was like uh, it is important to have a routine uh, like uh, there should be a definite time like not a very strict should, uh, schedule uh, like you're watching some episode and you like it you can go ahead uh, but yeah, uh, there should be a routine like uh, for the amount of hours that you're going about um, going for TV and all, uh, going for um, your social media and all, uh, and for um, the specific periods like uh, you can divide your day into um, times when uh, you are studying, when you are eating, when you are sleeping, you do not need to compromise on anything but yeah, uh, for a definite routine because a burnout also um, gets hard on you when if you do not do all those things. How important are giving tests like you know how, how what was your test giving strategy? Like. Um, it is important to start the test as early as possible. I would suggest ki, uh, get a run through, uh, get uh, run through all the subjects and the first read, and then uh, appear uh, for your first GT. But yeah, it is a very personalized approach. So yeah, you can go ahead anytime you like. But yeah, it is important to improve your scores uh, from time to time. And uh, the more frequent that you are uh, at giving the tests, uh, after some time, it actually becomes an addiction. And uh, once you start getting into the better ranks, then yeah. Um, it itself uh, push, pushes itself, you yeah. because because you are doing well, so you get that feeling that I'm going I'm on a winning trail. Definitely. And was there any moment where you felt that okay now I I am in the big league? Honestly, there are no big leagues. Matlab, seeing this exam, this uh, is the biggest league, you know, in the uh, need PG and the PG entrance exam. Maybe you get a rank one is big. Uh, actually. When you see uh, the exam, uh, when you sit in an exam, uh, you actually get a feel that uh, honestly you are no one. No matter how many ranks you uh, already have gotten in your GTs and all, but when you appear for that for that exam, you are actually no one. Uh, you can have that amount of confidence with the GTs before entering the exam hall, um, even at the time of starting. But once you see the questions, then when uh, new uh, tricky questions strike you, unlike those that you have already seen uh, in the GTs that you have attempted at your home and holding your nerves and uh, getting through those tough options and making a guess it is like uh, yeah you need to have a good day but you also need to have good revisions and all uh, to make it to the right option any particular like you know advices for anybody who's going to appear in the may exam like may and i said like uh, suppose you were writing the may exam what would you advise yourself based on the analysis of this year's exam and the previous exams that you might have seen any particular topics that you think was a change in the pattern in this exam? What, what, what was your observation that uh, a future person should keep in mind? It is actually very important to get through um, the recalls. Uh, I would say that uh, even if you are attempting PYQs, it is better to actually watch those uh, recall videos which are freely available uh, on YouTube and all because that thing gets you to the uh, core uh, where the teachers discuss the points not just on the question but also around the topic. Uh, that actually helps you and that was legit like one question of PSM uh, that happened so yeah uh, it helps you and uh, that is a very efficient way of doing it actually takes more time than just solving PYQs but uh, all in all uh, you will feel at the uh, while sitting in the exam that yeah it actually helped you rather than just solving the PYQs and looking at the uh, question thereafter uh, in INI set uh, I felt that um, there are specific topics that you need to focus on uh, the teachers always tell you but yeah for, for an exam like I said you need to go for uh, like uh, histology in an at uh, gross sections embryology uh, they strike those uh, topics more 
मतलब यू विल गेट अ को यू विल गेट एन आइडिया ऑफ दोज वाइल वॉचिंग द रिव्यूज एंड रिकॉल्स फ्रॉम प्रीवियस योर क्वेश्चन बट या यू नीड टू पॉन्ड मोर ऑन दोज टॉपिक्स रादर दैन जस्ट फ्लेलिंग अराउंड is that like uh, were you did you also enjoy the ini pyt that we conducted the previous year topics and the discussions the teacher did around those topics yeah the pyts uh, and the um, sessions that uh, dance conducted on youtube uh, before the exam uh, they are definitely uh, pretty helpful for you in the exam and you know anything that you tell yourself before the exam like this time uh, day before we were talking about this yesterday also i think two days before they said that we will have it in blocks 50 question blocks Uh, did you tell yourself something consciously about it and what was your approach uh, about that uh, kind of pattern like um, before the exam we heard the teacher saying that you definitely need to detach yourself after attempting one block you cannot be emotionally uh, attached to the previous questions because uh, then you will ruin your upcoming questions uh, and it is very important and honestly it is very easily said than done it is very difficult because you tend to think about the questions which you could have done correct but um, that actually, block is over yeah uh, this attached detach strategy needs to actually work not just for blocks but now for even every single question even after attempting or leaving every single question the next question you need to have a very fresh mindset to be going through those options because this exam is not something like you can just get an instinct from you need to be making a lot of guesses and when we talk about guesses like what was the uh, like if you have to describe the strategy of a rank 1 and 2 3 lines that what is it that matters on the day of the exam how many did you attempt how many did you think that you were doing a educated guess how many you were solving by elimination can you do a macro analysis for a future aspirant like when i was attempting um, i nsat mocks and other gts uh, before the exam it was like i could attempt matlab i had uh, gained that much uh, from my revisions and all that i could attempt 130 to 140 questions based on pretty much uh, where i was confident enough that yeah this is the answer about 30 40 questions where you could eliminate two options then go ahead with the third option uh, about 10 15 questions where you just make a blind guess and about 5 6 questions where you leave it but in sitting in the exam i realized that it is not the game and it is just in their hands that what sort of questions they present so it was completely the opposite and like uh, in this exam i felt that it was like barely 20 30 questions or maybe 40 questions if i am not even exaggerating that i could confidently mark that yes this is the answer 20 30 questions may have been that i could eliminate confidently two options and i had a hunch over the third option but like more than 100 questions i just had to mark because one there was time crunch one two i could not hold my nerves and uh, i could not manage the time very well in at least the initial few sets and yeah you need to have a really good day matlab to make it uh so it is very important to practice those set block thing and which we did not get uh, a lot of time before the exam but yeah another thing that you know i would like to highlight here is that real exams are different from whatever you give in a mock test now whenever you are preparing for a mock test many times you are able to pick up the answer easily in the real exam because it is a newly framed choices it is not as easy to pick up the answer it is not shining out like uh, i always tell my students that if a teacher will make a question the choices will be more tricky if a student will make the same question the choice one answer will be shining out because he doesn't may know how to make the other choices so in the real exam it is always about picking the right answer and also elimination so it is not like you know 80% of the paper you cannot do by your uh, clear core knowledge you have to apply the mcq skill also and that is where you know i want to dissect with dr arush tameja his rank 1 this year that what exactly goes on the day of the exam many of you must be thinking that he must be a perfect kind of a candidate who would know everything on the day of the exam and doing very well but actually he is also trying to eliminate on the day of the exam how cool you are on the day of the exam helps so arush can you go uh, do a little bit more deep dive into it for someone because i know many students who are intelligent but some of those intelligent students they start believing in a very perfect kind of a scenario that i will know the answer and if they don't know it they tend to leave it and in the end in such a four set scenario if you leave too many questions there is no coming back so how did you manage this scenario and how many did you actually leave it is very important to go on aggressive in an exam like this like uh, everybody tells that and yeah it's the reality uh, you will realize it from your gts also that yeah in an exam like this you need to uh, be very aggressive like go on 190 plus but honestly i don't know this four set thing does not leave you with a choice but you have to go for these many questions because you don't know what sort of difficult questions will fall in which set because so you cannot take a chance at leaving it for the next set 
uh, if you had a 200 question choice maybe i would have left many more in this exam specially uh, had i had a free flow through the 200 questions but that was not the ideal case so yeah it will not be an ideal scenario but you are keeping your cool especially before the exam we do not have any control over us in the exam no matter how much cool you are but yeah keeping your cool before the exam is very important um and you can go about light reading on the day before or uh, two to three days before but yeah that is also very personalized so it depends from person to person um yeah okay some more tough questions for you now did you sleep well before the exam <laughs> <laughs> i could not sleep yeah. so you know uh, did you you know i also want to tell the students that you know it is not an ideal scenario the exam day we all imagine that i'll be sleeping for 8 hours i'll be fresh but on that day sometimes you are very anxious you may not have slept well and still you have to think clearly so you have to accustom yourself to thinking clearly in tougher situations you have to put yourself under challenges i am sure you know arush would have challenged himself and many of you have challenged yourself by you know attending your lectures sitting in the class sometimes after half of the class you have a feeling that chalta hu then you tell yourself nahi mujhe baithna hai similarly you know you are constantly not only training the knowledge part mcq skill part you also have to train the resilience part that how clearly am i able to think if i have not slept the night before that did that you know like were you totally alert in the exam or did you feel that you know in the crunch that i'm not on my top of it? you were you are the rank one but what was your idea on during the exam what were you telling yourself in the middle of the exam like uh, i also tried to sleep early on the day before the exam but uh, the anxiety that uh, it does not matlab it did not let uh, at least me uh, sleep on the day before the exam but yeah uh you need to have a clear mind and uh, honestly for me it was like in the exam the adrenaline rush was such that uh, it does not let you feel sleepy honestly uh, it keeps you up, on your, it woke you up <laughs> it keeps you on your toes uh, with every question and when the timer running uh, this is not a 2 or 3 hour uh, this time it is every 45 minute blocks so it keeps you on your toes because you cannot uh, stay on one question for long uh, for 200 questions you definitely have that advantage that even if you are stuck on one question you have that liberty of uh, going about managing and cruising through questions uh, which are easier and you can easily manage time at least with the practice of the gts but this time it was pretty much different and yeah that is the thing that keeps you going and the adrenaline rush is pretty high and also you know i finally i would want to know from you like is there was there any moment in this entire year of internship or final year where you thought yaar नहीं यार ये छोड़ते नहीं हो पाएगा <laughs> मतलब ऐसा मतलब did Arush Dhamija also had that idea कि नहीं यार नहीं हो रहा मुझसे छोड़ता हूँ मतलब एवरेज स्टूडेंट में तो हो जाता है मतलब लेकिन क्या रैंक वन का भी ऐसा पीरियड आता है कि नहीं हो पाएगा <laughs> you get those lows from time to time that is uh, for sure uh, you need to keep yourself up and uh, bring yourself back but yeah there will be a lot more moments actually it happened for me uh, pretty much more than would have happened for any other of similar rankers in the past but yeah I know uh, it happens and yeah you need to just keep yourself and bring yourself back um, hoping for something better to happen after the exam but yeah did you have a buffer zone like uh, some particular friend or family or mummy papa anyone that you were you would go and say cry and say nahi ho raha and they would say nahi beta ho jayega and like all that thing happened with you or was there a did you have uh, like a buffer around you like that yeah it is very important to have uh, people around you uh, actually what i felt is that sometimes you feel that uh, people who are preparing for the same exam uh, brings in the sense of uh, competition in you and you are not actually able to open to them what i felt was like when you stay among people that are actually preparing for the same exam uh, it brings in a sense of confidence that you can actually open up to them and uh, because they would be in a similar scenario and yeah they can really understand uh, what you are going through honestly maybe not even your parents can understand uh, uh what you put what your what the position you are in because no one can feel that sense of anxiety at the back of your mind uh, throughout the days when you're doing your duties and coming back and what you have to go through but yeah when the people around you are in a similar position and they also have to appear for the exam yeah they become the biggest moral support i feel and uh, yeah you need to talk a heart uh, you need to talk a heart out to them also and uh, you just need to open up that all and finally you know any final message from your side to the future aspirants or anything that you want to tell them uh, you know anything that you feel would be of value to them like honestly for this exam i feel that uh, you cannot prepare for i said you just need to keep on going with the subjects trust your teachers and uh, go about making notes and revising them um honestly 
everyone thinks about the rank and it comes to you by default only. It came to me also. But yeah, uh, you cannot think about this thing and just detach yourself and just go into the process. Uh, it is, I would say, 50 or more than 50 percent your day that happens. And if it is your day, you will make it because guesses do not and uh, such random blind guesses do not uh, uh, just happen by preparation. Yeah, you have to prepare, but uh, there is a there are a lot of many factors, other factors that uh, play a crucial role. So yeah, you cannot blame yourself uh, for anything, and you just need to go into the process and uh, just keep preparing. Uh, the will definitely and in the end, you know, we'll say the punchline that we always say at the end of the interview. Uh, to to do this, we need to make a punch, and we'll do it together. And we'll say, "Apna time, aayega, aayega nahi, apna time upon khud laega, khud laega." Thank you very much, and I hope you enjoyed this discussion. We tried to do a candid talk with rank one INI CT November twenty three, Doctor Arush Dameja, and we tried to find out what actually he did right. And I am sure this video will help you and probably generation to come, they will be helped by this video to understand the MCQ mindset and how to go about the exams. Once again, congratulations to you and your entire family, Beta. Congratulations.